tutorial for Noco HQ. And today's tutorial, we're gonna present to you our SEO search engine optimization toolkit plugin for Bubble. This is a plugin that we recently uh, released uh, for Bubble. Uh, and this basically entails um, various different features for SEO. Um, search engine optimization is, uh, in our opinion, a really, really important part of, of optimizing your web page um, and getting tr organic traffic from search engines like Google, um, Bing, etc. And um, there are a few things built in in Bubble, but um, Bubble is not the strongest in terms of um, optimizing your application, your pages, and so on for um, for the search engines and there's a few things missing and we decided to build a plugin so um, this plugin as of now as of today uh, entails uh, three different types basically of elements uh, but we're planning on introducing more and more over time and building this plugin out to be the number one um, seo toolkit um, for your bubble application that you will need to really um, yeah take your bubble uh, app to the next level in terms of search engine optimization so um, just maybe to give you a, a, a big, a great overview, um, this plugin basically um, interferes with the code of your Bubble application, therefore basically making technical on-page SEO. Okay, uh, so instead of you manually having to add code and looking for how to do it, um, all you have to do is install the plugin, drag the data, uh, the plugin element on the page, uh, check the settings, and you're good to go. Um, over time, as I said, we're going to add more elements, uh, more options, um, and I'm just going to th go through with you right now the three types of elements that we have right now. So, as you can see here at the side, we have these um, elements. These are the elements included in the SEO toolkit plugin as of now. We have localization, page settings, and four different types of structured data. I'm going to uh, tell you in a second what that means, but we're going to start with page settings. This is quite simple. This is just the element you want, want to drag on the page. Um, it's um, this one here, okay, and it's a very small element, it's not visible, so you just can drag it anywhere, it doesn't matter, it just has to be on the page. And you can define these settings for every individual page here, okay, so uh, don't forget to add that to every page where you want it to be applied. And you can obviously di apply different settings to different pages. And this settings element just contains a few, but quite important um, um, settings. So it starts off with this page should not be indexed in search engines. That's an important setting that you might want to need. When you check this, we will add relevant code to your header telling Google and other search engines that this current page should not be indexed and displayed in the search engines. This might sometimes be helpful because pages like profile pages or dashboards or the admin panel, you do not want this to be indexed um, and you can just uh, specify that by checking this box. The canonical URL is something that, um, for example, if you have, a, if, if you have content, um, that is on various different pages, basically, like different pages with similar content, or you have one page that you can access via multiple URLs, um, there is the issue that Google could penalize you as duplicate content. You want to prevent that by specifying, uh, specifying one canonical URL, basically stating this is the URL that is the main URL, and all other similar pages should uh, be deferred to this canonical URL, which Google will count, okay? So let's say you would have like four versions of this page, and another page would be the main version, you would enter the URL of this main version here, okay? All right. This is um, something quite uh, special. Um, sometimes when a user in a different language via Google opens your page, Google Translate will automatically apply, translating your page into their mother tongue uh, language. Um, you can disable this automatic behavior um, by just checking this box, okay? And also, last but not least, uh, you can label this page as adult content, also apply, apply to Google. So if you have a, um, some kind of, I don't know, pornographic or um, yeah, violent material, you can check that and um, this will then be filtered in results um, when uh, yeah, minors are searching for, for things. Um, it's a good idea to do that, definitely. So these are the settings. As mentioned, we'll add a, a, a few more settings in the couple of months, next couple of months, but um, these are the settings as of now. Let's head over to the localization settings, okay? You will only need this if you have a, if you have basically multi-language version of your page. Because, let's say you have this page and you have this page in four different languages. Um, English, German, whatever. What you want to tell Google is you want to tell them, all right, so this is basically the main page, but I have different language versions, but they're still the same page, okay? And you can do that by adding this localization 
plugin and add up to four alternative languages for this current page. All right. So you can see localized version one language, localized version one URL, localized version two language and so on. So for the localized version one language, you want to add the language code and you can go over here to uh, Google and you can uh, check for the ISO 6391 format and then add the language code for whatever language your translated page is. Um, in my case, I, I use DE, which is uh, German basically. And then you want to provide where Google can find the translated version um, of this um, yeah, of this um, of this language. So telling Google basically, okay, for German users, please display this version. And also obviously for the German Google search results, uh, crawl and display this as a search result. If you have a multi-language page, this is really important to do um, as it will basically optimize your listing for all the different languages you offer your application in. And as mentioned, you can add up to four um, localized versions. If you need more, just reach out to us. Um, we can add more for you, no problem. Okay, and last, we have the structured data. Um, we have a, a different tutorial for this as well, but here we have four structured data pieces included. So what is structured data? Structured data is, you probably all have seen it, if you Google something, uh, besides the, the normal search results, are these special snip snippets here. So we have different kinds of structured data. We have article, which will be like this box showing an article. We have things like a course, where Google will actually show this course structure of the different lessons. We have things like an event where um, Google will display the event with the date under um, events um, in, in Google. Uh, we have uh, things like review snippets, that's quite common, where you can see the reviews within Google search, all right, um, and many, many more. So as you can see, this requires a lot of custom code, but it's also really, really helpful to add this because um, it doesn't mean it will definitely be displayed. So if you add, for example, I don't know, the logo uh, rich snippet, which is this one, you know, probably all know that. When you add that code, that doesn't mean Google will show this. But on the, if you think about it, Google will only show it if you have it. Okay. Google still decides at the end of the day if they want to show it, but they can only show it if you had added a code. So I would always recommend to add the code, the rich snippets, the um, um, schema it's called um, markup, uh, to your pages and with our plugin it's super easy to do you have four uh, structured data as of now again we will add more in the next couple of weeks and months you have logo product reviews and local business i would say these are probably the most important ones um, i'm not going to go through all of them but we have added one here for example which is um, a quite simple one this is logo so the structured data logo all you have to do here is provide the name uh, the url of your um, of your basically the website is with the logo and upload your logo and then we have the uh, markup added to this page for the structured data logo we can take a look at something like product this will be a bit more complex where you actually want to display a product as a, a rich snippet you will have to add the name of the product the image the description and all this information the price availability item condition etc etc you can obviously always add dynamic data which is great so you could say like current page products description current page products currency uh, whatever what it is uh, let's also take a look at reviews that's quite a nice one you can add um, a type of review so a review for a book let's say that's a book page and then you uh, do a value from one to five so it's a five star system you can also again do do a search for all ratings um, um, average basically okay so you, uh, automatically calculate the average and then the number of ratings do a search for ratings count so quite simple to use but it will immediately add the structured data um, and you can always test that using um, a tool here by Google, just Google um, Rich Snippet Validator. Um, and we can, for example, preview this. Please be aware that this will only um, work in your on a paid plan um, because um, you will have to publish the application to live and this only works in the paid plan. But we can manually test it. I'm just going to go into the code. Actually, I'm going to go to the header to see if the code has been appended. And yep, it's here. So we have the Rich Snippet uh, logo added here and I can just paste that here to see if it's validated and yep we're getting zero errors zero warnings um, google recognized this as an organization this is a really simple kind of rich snippet but, but you can see it works perfectly fine so yeah um quick introduction to our plugin uh, we will continue adding videos in the future um, for different features that we're going to add we're going to add a lot of features we're going to really try to build this plugin into 
yeah, the all-in-one um, SEO tool that you will need for your bubble application. So thank you for watching. I'm going to see you guys for the next tutorial with NoCreateHQ. Bye.